In this video, I'm going to show you local SEO by Yoast. Now, in previous videos, I've showed you um, WordPress SEO by Yoast, and then I've showed you video SEO by Yoast. Today, we're showing you local SEO by Yoast. This is another add-on. It's a premium add-on, so it's pay you have to pay for it, for WordPress SEO by Yoast. Now, where do you get it? If you go to Yoast.com, and then you go down to WordPress plugins, you got WordPress SEO plugins. Now, this is the free one, and this is what you should be using on your site. And then here you, you have a bunch of other add-ons. So you've got video training. You have the video SEO add-on, which is $69. The local SEO add-on, which is also $69. And then a news SEO. So if you run a news website, uh, then this is also very good to use. Now, the one that we're going to be looking at is local SEO by Yoast, as I mentioned. $69 for one site. If you have multiple sites, you can do that up to five sites for $129. Uh, and then if you need it on unlimited sites, you can go even more to 249 So basically what this does is local SEO by Yoast gives you an easy way to implement local schema markup. So this is stuff that the search engines will look at and sort of enhance your search results with those local with the local data. So um, if you are specific to an area, this is ideal. Um, now, I'm going to show you two different sites. One's my photography site, and one is uh, a lawyer site, because I don't have access to a photographer with, uh, that has multiple studios, so I don't really have an example to show, but um, I have a lawyer friend that uh, let me throw the plug-in on his site because, you know, it, he's... <laughs> He's got two locations, so it actually just worked out well. So I'm sorry that the second is not a photographer, but it gives you the uh, give, it'll show you what what it can do anyway. Um, so sorry about that. So okay, so here we go. So here is mine, um, and so this is my back end, and here is the SEO dropdown for WordPress SEO by Yoast. And in here you see I have video SEO active, and here's local SEO. Now at the top it'll ask you to put in the license, and then after that, you have access to all the fun stuff. Um, so if you do not have jQuery in your theme, um, most themes now are using jQuery, but if you do not, you can have this um, you know, active if you need to. Then you can choose your address formatting. How, how do you want your address to show? So if you're in different areas, um, that makes it easy. And um, you, see, I can actually, re you can remove things. So I'm actually leaving it like this, city, state, zip code. Uh, and then, if you have multiple locations, you click here. The reason why is because it what will do is give you a location slug. You'll have a new thing show up here, a new custom post type show up called locations. And I'll show you that when we get to the multiple locations, but I don't have multiple locations, so um, I'm just going to do this. So my business name, you choose what kind of service you have. Okay, so if you do a search for photo, there is no search engine schema markup. Uh, category for photographer so I'm using professional service and then here's where you put your uh, your ad your address and your phone number and whatnot now I don't have I don't have a studio so I just put my city state zip and my business phone number and then you can do your hours as well and then you hit save okay what you're gonna have is you're gonna have two things now geo map won't really be used if you have one location but um, it'll still show. It might just give you an error in, in uh, the webmaster tools. Um, now, what this does is if we go to my site and we go to my contact page, you'll see that I have a map and I have this section right here. And what's cool is if I go down and do a rich snippet testing tool with Google, watch what happens right about here property look at this you have address locality manalapin postal code you know the zip code so and here address region new jersey so search engines now will see my actual location in the data instead of relying on just text they're going to it's basically your website is um is basically Screaming at search engine saying this is the actual location for this website Now 
how was this done? So let's go back to my back end and I'm going to create a new page so you can see what this is doing. So the WordPress, uh, the local SEO plugin has short codes and it has widgets. So before I start with the short codes, I'm going to show you the widget. So let's open up the widget tab and let's just say I'm going to add, um, here you can see WP SEO. So you can actually drag WP SEO and choose what you want it to show in the widget. So I can show the country, show the state, all that fun stuff. You can do a map and you can show your hours. Simple as that. There's really nothing more to it than that. But the beauty is it's adding the schema markup to the, your sidebar. So on every page that has the sidebar, you'll have an address or a map or whatever that's using schema markup. Okay. Now, let's say you're doing short code. So in the, in the uh, local SEO documentation, there's a multiple short codes, just like the widget. So WPSEO underscore map will give you the map or WPSEO underscore address will give you the address um, with location option as well. And you've got a lot of different customizations you can do, but as an example, um, actually, uh, let me just show you what I used on my contact page so you can see that in action. Let's go here. So here's what I used. Close that. And here is that. Okay. So here's the uh, address. I'm showing ID all because I only have one. Showing the state, showing the country, showing the phone. And then the map. Um, again, ID all because I only have one. The width, the height you want it to do. So let's make this 300 so it's bigger. Your zoom. And I had it show root zero for no. But I'm gonna I just switch it to one so it should show the root option. And now if I preview this page of a map. Okay, so one is not the right choice. It might be a Y for yes. Let's see. So show root true. So I'm gonna go here, show root true, save draft, and refresh the preview. Let's see. Still not showing the root for some reason, but let's see. So the, the plugin is, is pretty new. Uh, it, it's, it's pretty new and there's already been a few updates. And what's great about Yoast is the developer, Juiced, um, is on top of things. So when I got up my hands on, this, on the plugin, I already had a bunch of feedback. And I found some bugs. And I submitted it to, to the support email box. And... I got a, a personal reply from Juiced basically saying thank you very much and expect an update with, you know, fixes shortly. And within the next hour or two, there's an update and all of my problems were fixed. Now, obviously, there's another problem. This is not working, um, but easily fixable. Just send an email and um, it should be fixed, you know, not too, too long after. So uh, now I'm going to do show opening hours so you can see that one. Let's move on to that one. Refresh, close that, and do preview. All right, so here's the opening hours. And again, schema markup will work here. So let me show you what it looks like in the, in the uh, source code. So if I scroll down, here is the schema markup. So you can see here the location. It's, it's referencing the schema markup. It's got the business name, postal address, the locality, and so on and so on. Here's the map, and the opening hours are right here. So it shows you each day, which is a beautiful thing. So if you need, uh, if you're really trying to push for local, local SEO, this plugin is really going to help you because it's going to guarantee your local scheme markup works. And if you use a physical address, it'll actually match up to your Google Plus uh, local account because the address will, will be the same. So that can help you even further. Because I don't have a local account, it's not as precise. It's not going to help me as much as it might help someone who does have an actual address. Um, so I, I definitely recommend this. $69. Uh, I think that's what I said it was. $69. And it's just an add-on for the free WordPress SEO by you. So 
you're getting so many benefits from it. Now, I'm going to show you. Let me actually delete that that page that I just made. Now I want to show you. Um, well, this is what happens when you have two locations. So you see here it says locations, and uh, you've got locations and new location. And in here, let's say we want to do the New York office. So we're going to take a look at the New York office. You can put some text about it if you need to, but otherwise you just scroll down and you can you pick your category just like you would for the single, but it's separated. And what that gives you basically is if I go to the home page of this, this is a work in progress. You see here both offices are down here in the widgets. You got the map and that's it. Um, so let me show you the widget area. In the footer, WordPress SEO, show address. You pick your, your location. And you can even do all locations or set, use current location. So wherever the user is, it should show. Um, and you can pick what you want to show from each of those. And in the sitemap, show you the sitemap real quick. Geo sitemap, if you click on that, you got locations with a KML. So that also helps with search engines. If someone um, finds your website, they can easily grab it in Google Earth or Google Maps or whatever and, um, you know, do some locations. Uh, so there you have it. Again, local SEO by Yo, $69. Definitely recommend it if you uh, need that precision um, further boost of local SEO possibilities. If you have a specific address, it's really going to help you. If you don't, it'll help you a little bit, but not as much as it would if you had a specific address. But that's it. Check it out. I'll link to it. We're uh, local SEO by Yoast. Thanks for watching.